It's Halloween time once more. A time for horror movies, monstrosity, leaves changing colors, pumpkin pie, and novelty cereal. Last year, my costume was Legendary Mothman. This year, my costume is the Flatwoods Monster of West Virginia folklore. The Flatwoods Monster is a creature that was reported to be seen in Flatwoods, West Virginia on September 12, 1952. It's an urban legend that is now over 65 years old. I assembled a costume utilizing a green medieval style robe and red gloves. For the mask, I used an already existing red mask based on Jason Todd as the Red Hood character from Batman comic books. I found it while searching Red Hood looking for parts for my costume. I recognized a sort of sci-fi look to it, and it seemed to be the best plain red mask I could find, given it was a full face and had some detail to it while remaining minimal. Next I had thick styrofoam carved into the shape of the Flatwoods Monster's hood and painted red. I also got goggles with yellow LED lights and a red spandex mask to go underneath it all. It's fun to go to the Halloween stores that open around October. I try to go as often as I can. Halloween is clearly the best time for buying props and costumes. A time when the gruesome and disturbing is accepted. Horror and science fiction themed items are everywhere. A great opportunity for independent filmmakers and those who collect oddities. At a Halloween store this year, I also got masks of a gargoyle and a plague doctor. Old school Halloween costumes were homemade with paper mache masks and cobbled together outfits. Later on, there were more commercial costumes being sold, such as plastic masks on strings. In modern day, we have tons of impressive full-face latex masks based on horror movies and other such things. What I've done this year, as well as last and a few other years before, calls back to the older style of Halloween tradition, creating your own costume. The difference being that these are made of pre-existing commercial costumes formed into something different. Jack-o'-lanterns are a form of grotesques, like the faces that are added to the architecture of buildings. Last year I made a Mothman jack-o'-lantern, so for consistency, this year I've made a Flatwoods Monster jack-o'-lantern to go along with my costume. I designed the silhouette of the Flatwoods Monster and had it carved into a pumpkin, so this year's Halloween is Flatwoods Monster themed. The Flatwoods Monster is an amazing creature design, something very unique that can inspire creativity. It's a nice way to represent West Virginia, I think that people should know about this great West Virginia legend, and so we must continue to tell the story and express it in a variety of ways. It's great to be able to dress up as these characters and play act as them, embodying the monster and bringing the folklore to life in some way. So put together a costume, make a jack-o'-lantern, watch a film or tell a scary story, celebrate the occasion in whatever way you see fit, and have a happy Halloween.